Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Violet Skyber. Have you ever wondered how much wind it takes to move an object? Well, there's a handy little formula that you can use to compute it yourself, as long as you know the weight and the area of the object. So the formula is the square root of 195 times the weight divided by the area. So let's go over a few examples, starting with your common maple leaf. Let's say it has a weight of 0 0.002 pounds and an area of 0 0.04 square feet. Putting that into the formula, it takes a wind of about three miles per hour to blow that leaf around. Now looking at, let's say, your average trash can. It weighs about 37 pounds with an area of about nine square feet. That takes about 28 miles per hour to push that laterally. Looking at a common average person, let's say they weigh about 175 pounds with 7.7 .7 square feet of area. That takes about 67 miles per hour to move a person, which is the same level as, let's say, severe wind gusts from a damaging thunderstorm. That can not only move a person, but can also cause damage to housing and even some trees down as well. Now let's look at a car, a car that's parked, not driving. So how much wind does it take to actually move a car when it's at standstill? Let's say it has a weight of 2,800 pounds with an area of 69 square feet. Putting that into the formula, it takes about 90 miles per hour to move a car, which is usually with straight line wind gusts from a line of thunderstorms, maybe a hurricane, even a tornado, some very potent weather systems you would need to be able to move a car like that with 90 miles per hour. So hopefully you can do this at home, a fun little math formula with your kids and maybe figure out some other objects and how much wind it takes to move them.